The Institute is adding a new safety evaluation to our front, side, and rear test programs. Now we're also going to be rating how well the roof holds up in rollover crashes. No automaker wants to see their vehicle earn a poor rating in a safety test. Our new roof strength ratings are going to drive improvements in rollover crash protection in the same way that our front and side crash tests have led to more crashworthy vehicles. Twelve small SUVs were the first vehicles we put to this new test. Four of them earned the top rating of good, and they had roofs that are two and a half to three times stronger than the federal rules require. Rollovers can be really bad crashes. When the roof caves in, you can see that there's not much room left inside to protect the occupants. And if the windows break out, then you've got an increased risk of ejection. Our research shows that vehicles with stronger roofs have a much lower risk of serious and fatal injury in rollover crashes. One of the top performers in this group of small SUVs was the Volkswagen Tiguan. With 15,000 pounds of force, its roof crushed less than two inches. That's four times this vehicle's weight. You can hardly see the damage, and the windows are still intact. By comparison, this Kia Sportage had one of the weakest roofs. With 15,000 pounds of force, its roof crushed all the way to here. The goal of our crash test is to minimize intrusion into the occupant compartment so that seat belts and airbags can do their jobs. It's the same idea with roof strength. You have a much better chance of surviving a rollover crash if the roof doesn't cave in on you.